So I don't know how a, a psychologist might would look at this. He's walking around them. Uh oh. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, Carl. That was a mistake. Lester made a mistake. Carl is a little, y'all. Like it or not, Carl's a little. Look at him strut. Carl, the big little. There we go. That's my title. And this is my thumbnail. Pebbles is so brave. Look at her. Oh, she's so brave. A brave little girl. Look at her. I'm trying to say hi to Carl. Oh, I love her. She's scared. Look at Carl getting down low, trying to get on her level to make her a little less intimidated. You know, if Carl wanted to scare them, he could poof up. He would poof up and get really big, but instead he's trying to get down low so they're not so scared of him. He wants to be friends. That's really sweet, Carl. He's trying to be friends with these guys and they're just not ready yet. That kind of is a life lesson if you think about it. How many people have we known in life who at first we were a bit let's just say in, intimidated by we and for different reasons maybe so here we go if you're a guy how have you, have you ever had a crush on a girl that you knew was out of your league she was just i mean way more pretty than most girls that you would ever talk to you will look how he's getting down low and trying to not make them scared of him that is really awesome i love that he's doing so well with them y'all i i know i know i know you all Man, there were so many folks trying to warn me about keeping him out of the Littles pasture. And guys, it's, it's still early. I'm watching and keeping a close eye on everybody. So what I want to do, so what I, the mistake that I made was putting a bucket of feed over here. And I was hoping they would all go up and share together. These goats, if you notice, I left Ringo out because Ringo and Trudy and Pig Newton are the ones that uh, don't share. But all these guys share pretty good. And so I thought if I put them here and let them all start sharing, then Carl might would walk up and share with them. That's what I was hoping would happen. So obviously Carl is a little bit, Carl is a little bit intimidated, you might say, by so many goats. I probably should only allow a couple of goats, maybe. I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning how we're going to do this. So what I actually brought out today, though, was not goat feed. Now, you know goats will eat anything. Hey, I was just saying how sweet you all were, and now you're not being sweet. This is duck, goose, and chicken feed. Yes, I, you heard me right. This over here is duck, goose, and chicken food. And this is what, guys, I was just saying how sweet you all are. And now you're being anything but. Carl, don't judge them. Here, I'm gonna pour a little bit out on the ground here. This is not something y'all should even be eating. This is not something that y'all should even be eating. I, okay, so the mistake that I made, here we go. The mistake that I made was I should have brought and fed the babies their food and then brought Carl his food. And that's a mistake that I made. I didn't do that. So now I've poured out several little piles along the way. Oh, Lester, you guys, I should have thought about that, guys. I don't think, I, I didn't think of everything. Lester didn't think of everything. Yeah, Lester did not think about that one. Ernie, don't even go over there. Don't, oh, no. That's going to get worse. This is not feed time for all of you. All right, here's what we want to watch. I want Carl to walk up and share with them. and let the, He'll learn real fast that, that he can share. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Let me back away a little bit. Carl, the big little. <laughs> All right, so I, I was, 
Look out there, Jan. You're gonna get stepped on, love. Carl just doesn't know what the hell's happening here. Look at Carl's. Oh, look at Pebbles, y'all. She wants to be. Oh, uh oh. Sorry, guys. That scared Carl. Carl. <laughs> Well, if there's anything here that we can take from this uh, mess up of Lester's part is that he, even though he thought he was doing the right thing by keeping Pig Trudy, Ringo, Tiny, not Tiny Tim, uh, Pig Newton out of the mix because they're the ones that won't share. What he should have done was brought enough feed for all the babies to have a pile their own little pile of feed, and then after they all realized that he had fed them, poured a separate bucket of feed there for, for Carl. Because as of right now, these guys have all said, well, you know what, it's not our preference. Duck, goose, and chicken feed is not what we normally would be wanting to eat. But if it's all we got for daddy's snack time, then we'll eat it. And that means that Carl has no pile to himself. All right, so how am I gonna work this now? I wanna go ahead and take advantage of this, of this moment because Ringo and, hey, please, Hucky, that's Pebbles. She's what, trying to love daddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and get some more feed, enough feed for all the babies. They're their kind of feed. I'll also bring another scoop of the, the duck, goose, and chicken food pour it around and then we'll try this again all right so i've come back again i have the feed all mixed up here everything in here including the goat formula hey stop stop so what i want is i want carl to see me feeding the babies i want carl to see that i'm the guy who's going to feed and protect them and love them carl needs to see this guys Everybody who started off here not being so gentle have all turned <laughs> gentle over time by watching me do what I'm doing right now. Now, I don't know if he'll ever be as gentle as these guys, but, uh, <laughs> and as I speak, but Carl's watching everything, guys. He's watching everything. He's watching me hold the feed, all the babies come around, circling around me, and I want him to watch and observe now I'm going to go ahead and go pour the feet out along the fence where he's walking and uh, let all the babies begin to take part in eating. Hold on, guys. Let me have it now. All right. So what I've done, I have poured so many piles of feed along the fence line where Carl seems to be spending most of his time. And he is. He's sort of been pacing the fence lines. But the neat thing is he's not looking outward. He's looking inward. He feels safe around the fence. I'll tell you why he feels safe there, because he knows he can step right over. Seriously, if Carl wants to, he can step right over. And I think that makes him feel safe. It's like it gives him an outlet if he wants, if he needs one. And so what I've done is I've poured so much feed along the fence line, hoping that what Carl will do is eventually walk along through here and begin to eat with the babies. Now, the problem is he doesn't, he just doesn't have the confidence to actually sit down and eat with them. So I wish they'd actually walk away and let him have a pile to himself. And I want him to learn that, that I'm the, the guy who's going to bring him feed several times throughout the day. I'll also let him learn that Jamie's the one who's going to be filling up his waters. Jake will come down and spend time here. And I, and I believe that over time, Oh, Tex is upset because I didn't drop him. <laughs> I didn't drop him a bucket of feet. Sheesh, Tex. Um, yeah. So that's that is what I would like to see happen. Now this may take time, guys. This is the this is the first full day of Carl being here with the babies. He did sleep with the guys overnight. Yet he slept right there where he's standing right now, and all of the babies, as you know, sleep right here inside the little's barn. Uh, I came out several times and checked. Everything was fine. He's pretty much keeping his distance. Okay, this is good because, as you can see, most of the ghosts have come over here towards me now. 
and that leaves Carl with only a couple of babies over there. I decided to go ahead and call all the babies over here to me using animal crackers. And as soon as I did, uh, Carl ran over there to start eating out of the piles of feed along the fence. And that's fine. So here's what I've, here's what I discovered. And this is what I'm going to conclude after today's video. Carl does enjoy being with the littles. Carl does not seem to be a threat to the babies. And I'm going to say this one last time. If Carl was a threat to the babies, it would show itself during feed time. I hope you guys heard what I said. If Carl was going to be a threat to the babies, it would show itself during feed time. Carl, I think, is, is, in, is instead, he's kind of scared of the babies. Now, all the animal crackers are gone. And so they're all kind of making their way back towards those feed piles along the fence. And Carl's going to retreat back to the corner. And I hate that because what I want to see is Carl eat with them. I want Carl to learn to do like, just like Cornholio and Jan do. And whenever we feed, they all walk around. And Lester will make sure to put out plenty of piles where everybody has a chance to have their very own. What... Um, what he has to do is learn to find his pile. All right, so I've come back for more animal crackers. Watch this. Come on, Littles! Come on, Littles! Now watch Carl. Here, babies. All right, so when all the Littles leave, here, babies. When all of my Littles leave and come over here, Carl feels like it's safe to go to the piles of feed along the ground there and eat. So, there's a different, there's a couple different ways we can do this. I can feed Carl separately. So, what I could do is call all the babies into the adjoining pasture here and feed them in the afternoons and let Carl eat here by himself. That might be a short-term thing until, you know, we want to make sure he maintains his body weight, make sure he's drinking plenty of water, and stuff because listen to me if he's scared to get close to them to eat then how's he gonna come over here beside annie and ernie and the pigs when they lay up over here and get water so we may have to figure that one out because as soon as they finish these animal crackers up they're going to probably go right back to those piles of feed and that's going to run him away but i like that he's eating it makes me feel good to know he's eating if he was if he was uncomfortable scared nervous he wouldn't eat but he's eating good look at pebbles she is the most curious little girl she wants to know more about him all right i know you guys are getting tired of this video but there's one last thing i wanted to talk about being that we've realized that carl will not go around the other animals to eat that also means he probably won't come over here to drink he's not walking towards the pond yet he's staying in this pasture so I'm going to go ahead and take, and I filled up this little water. This is actually a little feed trough, but I put some water in it. I'm going to walk it over there to that pot, uh, that little tree in the shade where Carl's been hanging out. And hopefully if he does want water, he won't be scared. He'll have his very own water supply over there. I'm going to do that now. All right, so I brought the bowl of water over here to the shade tree. Carl's coming back, so I'm going to walk away. Trudy, come with Daddy, baby. You don't want that water. That's for Carl. And we're going to make sure Carl can get water if he needs it. I don't know if he's thirsty or not, but he, I think he sees the he, he sees the he sees the container I set down there, and I don't know if he actually wants it. <laughs> I don't know what this bird's thinking. The little shade tree right over there is where I put his water because he goes to that corner. He stands there in the shade, and if he wants water, he'll get it from there. And I'll keep that changed out. I'll keep that changed out and fresh. And then there is feed. There's piles of feed along the fence line here where he's walking that he stops and eats from. The goats have all left it. They've found other piles to eat. Some have gone back to the shade. Some are over here by the water. And uh, so now Carl has access to food and water and shade. I know you're all worried about the shade. He, he can have shade. If he wants it um, the neat thing about Carl is he's built for these kind of conditions he's built for the heat as a matter of fact most ostrich in the wild get water from uh, the things they eat 
yeah, it's kind of like snakes. Snakes don't really need a water source. Snakes will get whatever fluids they need from whatever they eat. Mice and other things. Eggs. Uh, other rodents. I kind of wanted to see Carl go to the water. I'm not going to wait until he does so. Hey, love. I know. It's not fair that Carl's getting all the attention. Somebody said in a comment today that they hate the name Carl. And that even though it was okay at first and seemed cute, the more I say it, it's like running your fingernails down a chalkboard. <laughs> and that makes it that makes me laugh. And I'll say that because you know there's an actual YouTube compilation of Rick and the Walking Dead saying Carl. No, there is a compilation video where Rick says Carl about a thousand times in a few minutes of a video and i told jamie that was funny and I, if i'm not careful one of you guys are going to make that same kind of compilation of lester saying carl oh looky there my friends yay he found his water looky and so now i can end this video looky there whoa how strange is that how he's drinking it he's like reverse slapping it up Reverse, re, you know, a dog will lap it up, kind of like pull the water towards their mouth. He's pushing it away from his mouth, but he's drinking. I, I'm seeing it go down his throat. Like, dunk, 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 dunk. Awesome. So I'm going to wait till he walks away and then walk over and see how much water he actually drank in all of this. Because that's like a, this is like scientific exploration, y'all. I'm like discovering so many neat things about Carl. So a lot of folks says, okay, look at Pearl chasing those donkeys. Pearl is over there, and now Santana is joining them. Santana and Pearl are chasing those donkeys around that pasture. How funny, because don't you know that normally that's what the donkeys do, and this time Pearl is giving them a little taste of their own medicine. I hope that I capture that, and I'm going to zoom into it and replay that so y'all can see it. So a lot of folks says, okay, look at Pearl chasing those donkeys. Pearl is over there, and now Santana's joining them. And we're going to let that be the ending to this video. Guys, it's been long and lengthy, but I think that if you're like me and you're just as interested in Carl as we are and seeing him becoming a little...